Welcome to the overview of how to make a SOLIDWORKS administrative image. My name is Nathan and I will explain why and how to make an administrative image to install SOLIDWORKS products. First off, what is an image? The term admin image is a general term to describe software installation files that are typically stored on or located on a network drive in an uncompressed format. Why would you want to use an image instead of something like the uh, installation disks? Well, typically, if you need to install on more than 10 computers, then it can be beneficial. If you want to remove installation dialog boxes from users, or if you want to restrict users from installing certain products. What are some of the requirements? First, we need a computer with sufficient disk space. Second, a proper network connection between all the computers. A little bit of extra time for setting it up and testing the image. And then we do need an individual, individual image for 32-bit computers and 64-bit computers. So where do we start? Once the latest version of the software has been downloaded from the SOLIDWORKS website, open the SLDIM folder and then click on the sldim.exe. Once you click on the executable to start the process, it will start the one-step installer. Generally speaking, it's impossible to create and deploy multiple images for multiple software products, but SOLIDWORKS has streamlined the process and overcome many obstacles with our latest version of the installation manager. To start, make sure we have selected the administrative image. Second, create or update an administrative image. When you click Next, it'll ask you to enter your SOLIDWORKS numbers. After that, it will quickly connect to the SOLIDWORKS. Please pay attention to any system check warnings that it provides you. Clicking Next will review the summary here. At this point, we can review any options and change some options. If we want to change where the administrative image location is, click Change. It will take you to this screen where you can identify or browse to the new location for the image. Click back to Summary when you're done. Back at the Summary page, we can change other options. For example, where the toolbox will be installed. When you click Change, you can hit Browse. When you click the Back to Summary after you've changed the location, it'll take you back to our Summary page. A common thing that needs to be changed are some of the client installation options that you can click Change for. If you have any questions on what these options are or what they mean, they're actually explained very well under the Help menu. This may be useful. Going back to the summary, once you've made all your appropriate changes, you can click the Create Now button. As we start the image, I'll fast forward. Towards the end of the image, you'll be asked to enter your email address. This is used for activation purposes. Please pay attention to any other warnings or error messages that come up towards the end of the administrative image creation. At this point, you've successfully created multiple images for multiple SOLIDWORKS products, such as SOLIDWORKS, Cosmos or Simulation, eDrawings, DWG Editor. These can now be easily de deployed with one easy process at the same time. <laughs>